Have you been feeling very fearful about life? Has the unknown of life kept you in fear? Have you been questioning what's next and wanting to soothe yourself but don't know how? Well, in today's video, I'm going to help you with this. And we're going to do all this through self-love. Hello, my powerful creators. It's your bestie, Candice. And I'm so glad you're here joining me today. You are not here by accident. You are here for a purpose. How exciting is that? On this channel, we discuss everything from personal development through self-love, manifestation, and gratitude. So let's get started on this video on how to self-love and self-care when in fear. My first tip is when you feel very overwhelmed, this is a time when you need to breathe in and out. And I suggest breathing in and out for three minutes. So it may sound like a long time, but this is really going to elevate you and help you get out of this fearful vibe. And when you breathe in and out, it's very important to breathe in for four seconds, hold it for four seconds, and then let it out for four seconds. And what I like to do is when I let it out, I let it out. I breathe out and I love to hear myself breathe out. So let's try it. So you're gonna breathe in, one, two, three, four, hold it and breathe out and go. <sighs> do that for three minutes and I know you're going to start feeling better. My second suggestion is to read a good book or watch a funny film, something that will make you laugh. And when we laugh, we just get all this good energy out of us and in us. So I think that's a good step. One of my favorite books to read is The Power. This is really going to help you just find love and gratitude when you feel in fear. I'll link this book below. My third suggestion is to create affirmations that make you feel safe and secure. One affirmation you can say is, I welcome peace into my life. I protect my peace through anything that I do. I love to find peace and comfort throughout my day. Fear does not hold me down. The fourth suggestion is to take a moment to be aware of your own emotions and feelings. If you feel scared, honor that feeling. If you feel fearful, honor that feeling. And what I mean by honor it, be aware of it. Be okay with it. Don't force yourself to get out of it. But when we own our feelings, that's the first step in healing. So we're going to own it and be aware of it and give ourselves time to just be at peace with it. And then, then we're going to go into different realms of how to heal it. Know that your feelings are valid. And don't say, I can't feel this way. I shouldn't feel this way. Things are worse for other people. If you feel that way, be okay with it. That's the first step to heal. My fifth suggestion is to list five things you're grateful for. You can start with, I'm so grateful that I woke up this morning. I'm so grateful I had breakfast. Just start small. I'm so grateful I got to brush my teeth. <laughs> Whatever it is, find five things you're grateful for because gratitude is the most amazing way to get us out of fear. Because when we find gratitude, that is like the best thing for us because we're getting rid of the lack in our life and we're showing that we do have abundance. Be grateful and start with five and I know you'll just keep going and going and going and it'll put a smile on your face. My next suggestion is to call a friend or a family member. Call your best friend and say, hey, I just really need to talk to someone right now. I could really use a friend right now and let them give you suggestions as well. If they're your best friend, I know they're there for you for a purpose and for a reason. And I know that that best friend is there to elevate you, to push you, to make things better in your life. 
And that's why you have that best friend. That's why you have that relationship. Or call a family member. I love calling my mom. She's the most powerful woman I have ever met and I will ever know. And she always gives me so much encouragement. Whoever that is in your life, call that person. Tell them the struggles you're going through. Tell them where you're fearful. That person is there for you for a reason. When we have really good friendships like that, there's a balance. You're there for them when they need you, and they're there for you when you need them. I pray that you guys have someone like that in your life. And if you don't have anyone like that in your life, you know that I'm your bestie, and I give out daily affirmations. So go through my affirmations and see what resonates with you. Also, I always have my DMs open, and I have my email below for you to email me something and I'll do my best to reach out to you as soon as possible. I want you to know that I'm here for you. This is one of my favorite things to do is to find someone to uplift. That means reach out to a friend. Say, I'm just so proud of you. I know this is a random text, but I'm just so proud of you. Or comment on someone's photo. You look beautiful today. Or say, to some stranger when you're walking down the street. Hey, you look great today, love your outfit. Uplift someone else, and I know that's gonna help you get out of fear as well. And the last one is to limit your daily media intake. So whether that be the daily news or any announcements, there's a lot of announcements going on today. Limit it. Say, I'm only going to be able to read the news maybe an hour out of the entire day, 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there, blah, blah, blah. Whatever the time frame is for you, be honest with yourself on how much media intake you can take. Even if it's like getting off of social media, do whatever it takes so that you are protecting your peace of mind and getting out of fear. And today's video affirmation is, I release fear and I welcome peace. I release fear and I welcome peace. Share that with a friend who needs it because I know someone in your life needs to hear that. Thank you so much for listening to today's video. Comment below something you've learned today because I really enjoy talking with you guys there. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And hit that bell notification so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. I love our powerful creators community. Check out my Instagram for daily affirmations and make someone's day by sharing this video to someone who truly needs it. And throughout your day, don't forget to be grateful, kind, and encouraged. I love you all so much. Have a beautiful day.